Welcome back. You're watching News Newsline. Now to the international scene. The U.S. has killed the leader of Al-Qaeda, that is Ayman al-Zawahiri, in a drone strike in Afghanistan. President Joe Biden has confirmed. He was killed in a counter-terrorism operation carried out by the CIA in the Afghan capital of Kabul on Sunday. He and Os Osama bin Laden plotted the 9-11 attacks together and he was one of America's most wanted terrorists. He was the most wanted man on the planet as head of Al-Qaeda, the feared Islamist terror group that spawned franchises around the world after the stunning attacks on U.S. soil on September 11, 2001. Now, says President Joe Biden, he is no longer a threat. Justice has been delivered and this terrorist leader is no more. People around the world no longer need to fear the vicious and determined killer. The United States continues to demonstrate our resolve and our capacity to defend the American people against those who seek to do us harm. You know, we, we, uh, we, we make it clear again tonight that no matter how long it takes, no matter where you hide, if you are a threat to our people, the United States will find you and take you out. The Sunday morning U.S. missile strike that killed al-Zawahiri in Kabul drew the ire of the nation's Taliban government, which seized control less than a year ago after the withdrawal of U.S. and NATO troops after two decades in Afghanistan. Senior White House officials said the operation targeted a house in Kabul and was conducted by an unmanned aerial vehicle with no U.S. personnel on the ground. Administration officials also said they concluded with high confidence that only al-Zawahiri was killed and that they were aware that senior members of the Taliban's Haqqani network knew he was in Afghanistan. Officials said they did not alert the Taliban before the strike. The group spokesman condemned it as a blatant violation of international principles and the Doha Agreement, which are the 2020 talks that Taliban leaders held with U.S. and Western leaders in Qatar over the withdrawal of U.S. and allied troops the subsequent year. The U.S. invaded Afghanistan shortly after the September 11th attacks, and al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden was the prime target. U.S. forces killed him in Pakistan in 2011. Al-Zawahiri, an Egypt-born surgeon, once bin Laden's doctor, took over the terror group in 2011. Biden said the killing could lead to a new era. Now we have eliminated the emir of al-Qaeda. He will never again, never again, allow Afghanistan to become a terrorist safe haven because he is gone and we're going to make sure that nothing else happens. You know, it can't be a launching pad against the United States. We're going to see to it that won't happen. Meanwhile, in recent years, al-Qaeda has continued to expand in the Middle East, West and East Africa, and South Asia. Back home, a red alert has been raised over the continent.